In this video I will show you data that I have collected from like 6-7 hours of insanely exciting shooting. At the beginning of each test we made sure that we start test with full shields and zero pips to systems, unless stated otherwise. Well, let's start with shields. We wanted to test Anaconda shields with different pips to systems. And the result you can see now. Basically, until next update goes live, that will be next month. Pip system is broken, still broken. So only 0 and 4 as you see from screen, 1 pip, no increase at all. 2 pips, almost no increase, 3 pips, just for second increase, and with four pips you will have your shields twice as strong. Nothing much to say about this until they fix. It should be more linear in the next update, so let's move on. Let's compare two small with one medium and two medium with one large. These all are beam lasers fired at 500 meter distance. Two medium beam lasers do more damage than one large and same goes for two small. Those do more damage than one medium. That's actually very interesting because if you are firing weapons at large targets like Anaconda and use small or medium hard points, there is some damage penalty. Developers told that this penalty is around 33%. So even with Penalty to medium beam lasers are better against Anaconda than one large beam laser. Now let's take a look at damage per distance. All tests were done with zero pips to systems, just to make it all quicker. Same result would be with four pips, it would just take much longer. And I fired large beam laser from point blank, 500 meters, 750, 1000, 1500, 2000 and 2500 meters. Results you can see here. It's pretty straightforward. Until 1000 meters you can use your weapons effectively. Then it starts to fade and damage is dropping pretty fast. At 2000 meters you will do 2 times less damage and at 2500 4 times less damage. So keep your distance as close as you can. 1000 is very good. At 1500 meters you will lose 50% of your weapon's power. So this should be pretty much your borderline. 1500 meters. Now let's look at projectile weapons. These are weapons that we used. Some weapons did too much damage to hull, so I avoided using them to see how long it takes to break shields. And nobody wanted to try torpedoes on their own ships, as these tests already cost like 3 millions. So let's see, the winner is Railgun Class 2, 15 shots in 15 seconds. Second place, Railgun Class 1, 26 shots. What I should add is, with one Railgun you can shoot pretty much all the time. But if you use full load of Railguns, you will be overheating your ship very fast and there is no way you will be able to shoot every second. Cannons, 20 rounds, 49 seconds. Dumpfire missiles 29 rounds fired, 51 second fragment cannon. Heat seekers very slow, they need too much time to load. Cannon class 3 turret, multi cannon turret, and cannon class 2 turret. Turrets are very weak, very, very weak. On the right, you can see some numbers. Let's start with multi cannon class 2. Fixed is better than gimbal by 24%. Fixed is better than turret by 59%. And Gimbal is better than Turret by 46. Class 2 Railgun is better than Class 1 Railgun by 42%. Now let's move to Thermal Weapons or otherwise called Lasers. Again, Railgun is number 1. Well, Railgun is Thermal and Projectile Weapon at the same time, so here is our winner already. 
being fixed class 3 is close second. Burst fixed class 3 and railgun class 1, pulse class 3 fixed and you see them all. Turrets being bad and even worse. So, beam laser class 3 fixed is better than class 3 turret by 53%. Class 3 is better than class 2 by 60%. Class 3 is better than class 1 by 80%. And class 2 is better than class 1 by 37%. Now let's take a look at all weapons. The numbers are how many seconds it took me to break Anaconda shields. Anaconda head class 7, shield A, rating and 0 pips to systems. So railguns class 2 is first, beam fixed class 3 is second, burst fixed class 3, railgun class 1. Anyway, you should test your ship, you should test your power coupling. You should see how many weapons you can fire same time for longer periods of time. Railguns are best, but you will not be able to fire 6 or 8 of them even on Anaconda. It will just overheat. Same goes with beam fixed. You will not be able to fire even 3 for long period of time. But you can fire for pretty long time pulse lasers. I wonder where did low heat and overcharged and focused weapons go? If they will come Online, there will be some interesting things to try with them, especially with low heat weapons. Anyway, all turrets are at the bottom, except for class 3 B turret. Now let's take a look at weapons by distance. Not all weapons I fired at all distances. Most weapons were fired at 500, 1000, 2000 and 2500 meters. So here you see the results. They are very consistent. As you see, as distance increase, damage penalty is increasing. So all weapons behave more or less same. And distance test was done mainly with thermal weapons because I was testing shields. And we all know that projectile weapons are very bad at distance. Where except multi-cannons we will not be able to hit anything with high level cannons or fragment cannons or dumb fire missiles. Also projectile weapon should be tested against hull and at some point I will try to do that. And here's average weapon damage penalty per distance in percents compared to 500 meters which is more or less point blank range. So, at 1000 meters you will lose 17%, which is not so much. At 2000 you will lose 129%. Basically your weapon will be 2 times weaker. More than 2 times. And 2500 meters your weapon will be less effective by 321%. Basically that will mean that your weapon is 4 times weaker pretty much useless. So don't use especially projectile weapons, you are wasting your ammunition insanely fast. I hope you have learned something new. And huge thanks to Night Shadow for putting his ship on the front line.